Topaz means Ezekiel, strengthened of God. Look at Ezekiel 1. Elder, I want you to come out of this uh, and tell me what it is in verse 5. Tell me what this, tell, read verse 4 and 5. That's I remember what we're talking about. We're talking about the cherubims overshadowing the mercy seat. Hallelujah, which Paul said we cannot now speak particularly. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Amen. Four and five. Ezekiel one, verse four and five. Elder, go ahead. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. As a whirlwind, you we sow the wind, you're going to reap this whirlwind. Go ahead. A great cloud yep. and a fire enfolding itself. Who makes his angels ministers and his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of? Come on now, come on. Go ahead. And a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof as the color of amber. Amber, there's judgment. Go ahead. Out of the midst of the fire. Go ahead. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Stop right there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it right there. Elder Hose. All right. Uh, uh, Brother Sullivan, give me Revelation 1 and verse. Uh, hallelujah unto God. I want you to read Revelation 1. Uh, read. The Revelation 1 and verse, uh, uh, oh, Lord God, Lord God Almighty. Uh, for the sake of time, verse 12 and 13, we should search off seven, verse, verse 12 and 13. Go ahead, Brother Sullivan. Give him a microphone over there. You got one? Hallelujah. That's all right. Hold your mic right there. Hallelujah. I got one right here. Hold that microphone. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me and, and bring. Does the church have to turn or can't she stay on a present course? The church has to turn to see this voice. Can't see a voice? You better see this voice. Go ahead. And being turned, I saw seven gold, golden candlesticks. Okay, sir. One. Give me one. Brother Brown, give me, give, give, give me, uh, give me six more and you. No, give me seven. Give me seven. I want you to be the, give me seven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put them all in a circle. Give me seven people in a circle. Hallelujah unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Sullivan, keep that microphone. Give me seven in a circle. Hallelujah. Yeah, maybe he got, okay, we got seven in a circle. Brother Brown, I don't want you to count you now. Hallelujah. Got to have seven. Hallelujah. All right. Spread it out. Give me a big seven. Give me a circle. Give me up a circle. All right, there's the seven churches right there of Asia. Brother Brown, you're over here somewhere. Now, wait a minute. You're going to be one like. You're one. You're one, but you're one like. Oh, one like. Hallelujah. Turn me up a little bit. Hallelujah unto God. Brother Sullivan, go ahead. I said, I thank you, so And I turned to see the voice that spoke of me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Everybody raise your hand. The seven golden candlesticks right here. Hallelujah, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's your seven golden candlesticks right there. It's a seven-fold candlestick. It's a circuit of God, the Galilee, the circuit of the nations right there. It's a complete church of the earth. It's in a circle. Go ahead, Brother Sullivan, read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of the seven candlesticks. One like unto the Son of Man. One, did it say the Son of Man? It said one. Here he is right here. Here's one like the Son of Man, and he's in the middle of it. Go in the midst of it there, Brother Brown. Hallelujah. Raise up your hand. One, one, one way. To, there he is. There's one like the Son of Man. The lame's going to walk, and the captain's going to go free. You're going to do Moses' miracles, the judgment miracles of God. You're going to call that water and turn it to blood as often as you will. Hallelujah. You'll smite the earth with all plagues as often as you will. You'll go to the kingdoms of this world and make them the kings of the world and of his Christ. You'll have Elijah miracles. Hallelujah. You'll cause the axe head to float. Hallelujah. You'll be up there on the Mount Carmel, and all of a sudden, God will translate you 40 miles away to Jezreel. There'll be kingdom miracles all over the place. Hallelujah. You'll need to be fed. God will feed you with a steak sandwich every day. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. That's going to be altogether different than it was in the book of Acts. Can you say amen? Stand on your feet. You're out of here for tonight. First Kings 6, you underline this. Somebody said, I don't believe those cherubims. I believe they're the top order of the angels. It's a measure of an angel that is of a man. The book of Revelation says. Look at First Kings. 6 and verse 23, Elder, read for me. Hallelujah. Everybody got it? 
underline 1 Kings 6 and 23, and any preacher that tells you that the two anointed ones in Revelation 11, hallelujah. I'm going to read to you Revelation 11. It'll read like unto a rod given to me and saying, Rise, measure the temple of God and the altar of them that worship therein, but the court which is but out, leave out and measure it not, for it's given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city should be trodden underfoot for 42 months. And I will give power unto my, what? My two witnesses. I'm talking about a Revelation 11. I'll give power to my two witnesses. Hallelujah. Who are these? These are the two olive trees. Glory. Standing by the key, by the Lord of all the earth, the two olive trees. These are the two golden candlesticks. Zechariah 4, these are the two olive branches standing by the Lord of glory. Who do the golden pipes do empty out of themselves, the golden oil? Not regular, not regular olive oil, but the olive trees now let, let them going out the golden oil. In other words, God has come in so much in you and through you that it ain't regular olive oil anymore. It's the golden oil of God. Whenever you speak, it's not you that speak, but the Father that's in you. It's God in you. It's God speaking through you and you and by you. Hallelujah unto God. Do you understand Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? In this flesh. Hallelujah. 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 There's how do you know that you, how do you know? How do you know the truth of God? Any spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the in the flesh. Have you flesh? In the flesh. Everybody look at her. This is Jesus Christ come in the flesh. Uh, hallelujah. I'm not talking about that body right there. I'm talking about the Jesus Christ for her to live is Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The mystery of the kingdom of God, Christ in you, the hope of glory. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen the angels preached all over the world, received up in the glory. God was manifested in the flesh. Jesus Christ uh, is God come in the flesh. Uh, hallelujah. In your flesh. Uh, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And any spirit that can confesses not uh, that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Uh, what flesh? Uh, the flesh of the body of Christ. Uh, there's your real. I'm not talking about 2,000 years ago. Uh, I'm talking about the preceding word now. Now, 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 now. Jesus Christ is, is, is come in the flesh. Uh, and you're it. Uh, you're the body of the Christ, uh, the Lord of glory. You ain't got it yet. Because if you did, you'd be knocking down flat foot and five pews and done knock this thing down. It wouldn't be no tent standing here. Because God loved you so much. In the last feast, the last great feast of the Lord, there were 70 bullocks. On the, on the first day of the feast, 13 bullocks. Second day of the feast, 12 bullocks. Third day of the feast, 11 bullocks. Fourth day of the feast, 10 bullocks. Sixth day of the feast, nine bullocks. Eighth day of the feast, uh, eight bullocks. And the seventh day of the feast, seven bullocks. That's 70 bullocks in all. The Feast of Tabernacles has more blood in it than all the other feasts of the Lord combined. Did Jesus pray for this on the cross? And you tell me we ain't going in? Get out of my way. I don't want nothing to do. There's more power in this tabernacle. It's the last great reign of his strength than all the other feasts of the Lord, including Pentecost combined. These are the two olive trees. These are the two olive branches. All right, Elder Reed, this is the last verse. I told you we're out of here. And somebody said, no, we ain't. Yeah, we are. This is it. Amen. Hallelujah unto God. Amen. First King six. 6 and 23. And within the article, he made two cherubims of olive trees, uh, each Ten cubit eye. What was the olive? What was the cherubims made of? Olive tree. Who are those two witnesses over there in Revelation 11? Two olive trees. Who are these cherubim of glory? Who are these cherubim of glory? They're, they're made out of what? Two olive trees overlaid with gold. Overlaid with the glory of God. You will be arise, O daughter of Jerusalem, for I will make your horn, horn, iron, and your teeth a new sharp threshing instrument. And you will go through the land and burn up all the chaff. For the Lord will, the minister who make his angel spirits, his ministers a flame of 
fire. I will make you a fire and the Holy One over you for a flame. Before you is a garden of Eden. Behind you is a burn up wilderness. And nothing shall stand in your way. You're either going to repent and turn to God or you'll be a burn up, burn up, burn up city as Sodom and Gomorrah. Lift your hands and praise the Lord of glory. Those cherubims of glory are the two olive trees. These are two witnesses of Revelation 11. Somebody said, they're Elijah and Enoch. Some said, no, they're Elijah and Moses. No, I'll tell you who they are. They're you. The church of the living God. They're the two olive trees. The ones that are sanctified holy. The ones that are counted worthy of this glory. The ones that have forsook all, sold all, and gave up all. They will enter into this glory. And you've got to be accounted worthy. Worthy. Worthy of this kingdom. Can you shout glory? Lift your hands and praise the Lord of glory. Lift your hands and praise the Lord of glory. Elders, come here. Take this microphone. I want you to testify. Hallelujah. God bless you tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Go back over there, buy some CDs and DVDs. Help us pay for some of this stuff. Receive Elder here with a hearty amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord tonight. God is good in this sanctuary. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to be found once again in the house of prayer. Amen. Glory be to God. Hey, the, 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 it's a blessing to know that God is using mighty men. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to know that we are candlesticks. We are, we are blessings. We are, the, we are the people that God been looking for. Amen. We are the people that God is going to use in this day and this hour. See, the, the, uh, the, the, the minister today was saying that we can't live any kind of way. Amen. We got to understand we need the Holy Ghost. You got to be filled with the Spirit of God. Amen. He'll use you. He, he'll, he'll lift you up in a dying hour. See what I'm saying? He'll strengthen you when you're weak. We are the children of God. We are the people who God is looking for to use. See, a lot of people think that they, they can go any kind of way. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you now, you can't go any kind of way. God is good all the time. Lift your hands to God and thank God for what he's doing in this hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God has blessed me to be a witness tonight. Hallelujah. See, when a man of God preach the word, we're supposed to be a witness. Hallelujah. We gotta be, we gotta stand up for righteousness and come against evil spirits and demonic forces. Things that are destroying our families, amen. God is good tonight. But when we stand on the prayers of the righteous man of very much, hallelujah. I just want to thank God for being here tonight. Hallelujah. I thank God for everything he's doing. And I ask God that, that God bless the minister tonight. And then just use it mightily. And also the uh, Pastor Leonard, I ask God to do everything that you need him to do. Amen. Amen. But I want you to know one thing. As the, as the minister of the God was saying tonight, you can't go any kind of way. Hallelujah. God is good. But listen, see, you have to be born again. Baptized in the name of Jesus. Huh? And have repented of your sins. See, Jesus told niggas, unless you're born of the Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, and the baptism, which is in Jesus' name, you can't even see how to get to heaven. Hallelujah tonight. I just want to thank God for each and every soul. Hallelujah. And I ask God to bless each and every one as you leave this place tonight and do something for each and every one of your family members, loved ones. Let that light shine in you, that people may see the good work that God has in store to you. Hallelujah. God bless me to be a pastor of the greater first apostolic church. Amen. And he's doing a, a wonderful thing over there. It's a lot of doubt. The Bible says, let the wheat grow with the tail. Hallelujah. And at the end, he's going to burn the shaft up. Hallelujah. That's what the man of God is talking about tonight. There's going to be a lot of division among you. But you have to stand on the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. God is real tonight. Hallelujah. I just want y'all to pray that my faith and my strength grow high in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Love you. Love you. Love you. How many appreciate the elder here tonight? Praise the Lord God. Amen. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, elder. Deacon London, go ahead and dismiss us. Hallelujah. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, buy some CDs, DVDs, help us ministry. Hallelujah. God bless you. Glory to God. May the Lord watch between me and thee. While we absent one from another and pray one for another that we may be the one that God has called.
these lads in evil days. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.